All right, what is up you guys? It is Saturday, May 3rd today. And we are going to be reading, let's see, second book of Chronicles, chapter 19, where we left off. And we're gonna begin with prayer in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Please God bless us with your Bible and your words and wisdom and truth and light. In your name we pray, amen. Son, amen. Jehoshaphat rebuked King Jehoshaphat of Judah, returned in safety to his house in Jerusalem. Jehua, the seer, son of Hanani, met King Jehoshaphat and said to him, Should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? For this reason, wrath is upon you from the Lord. Yet some good things are to be found in you, since you have removed the sacred poles from the land and have been determined to seek God. Judges appointed. Jehoshaphat dwelt in Jerusalem, but he went out again among the people from Beersheba to the highlands of Ephraim and brought them back to the Lord, the God, the God of their fathers. He appointed judges in the land in all the fortified cities of Judah, city by city, and he said to them, Take care what you do, for you are judging not on behalf of man, but on behalf of the Lord. He judges with you, and now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Act carefully, for with the Lord your God there is no injustice, no partially, no bribe-taking in Jerusalem. Also, Jehoshaphat appointed some Levites and priests and some of the family heads of Israel to judge in the name of the Lord and to settle quarrels among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. He gave them this command. You shall act faithfully and wholeheartedly in the fear of the Lord and in every dispute that you, that your brethren living in the cities bring to you, whether it concerns blood guilt or questions of the law, questions of law, command, statutes, or judgments. Warn them lest they be, become guilty before the Lord and his wrath upon you and your brethren. Do what do that and you shall be guiltless see now amaria is high priest over you in everything that pertains to the lord and zebediah son of ishmael is leader of the house of judah in all that pertains to the king and the levites will be your officials act firmly and the lord will be with the good chapter 20 invasion from edom after this the moabites the amorites the ammonites and with them some Munites came to fight against Jehoshaphat. The message was brought to Jehoshaphat. A great multitude is coming against you from across the sea. From Edom, they are already in Hezazon Tamar, which is in Gedi. Jehoshaphat was frightened, and he hastened to consult the Lord. He proclaimed a fast for all Judah. Then Judah gathered to seek help from the Lord, from everyone who from every one of the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Prayer of Jeho Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. And he said, and he said, Lord God of our fathers, are you not the God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? In your hand is power and might, and no one can withstand you. Was it not you, our God, who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend. They have dwelt in it and they built in it a sanctuary to your honor, saying, when evil comes upon us, the sword of judgment or pestilence or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house. And we will cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and save. And now see the Ammonites, Moabites, and those of Mount Seir who come, of those of Mount Seir, whom you did not allow Israel to invade when they came from the land of Egypt, but instead they passed them by and did not destroy them. See how they are now repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession you have given us. O oh, our God, will you not pass judgment on them? We are powerless before this vast multitude that comes against us. We are at a loss what to do, hence our eyes are turned toward you. 
Victory prophesied. All Judah was standing before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their young ones, and their young sons. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Je Jehaziel, son of Zechariah, son of Benaniah, son of Benaiah, son of Jael, son of Metaniah, a Levite of the clan of Asaph, in the midst of the assembly, and he said, Listen all of Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, and King Jehoshaphat. The Lord says to you, Do not fear or lose heart at the sight of this vast multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Go down against them tomorrow. You will see them coming up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will come upon them at the end of the wadi which opens on the wilderness of Jeruel. Jeruel. You will not have to fight in this encounter. Take your places, stand firm, and see how the Lord will be with you to deliver how the Lord will be with you to deliver you. Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or lose heart. Tomorrow go out to meet them, and the Lord will be with you. Then Jehoshaphat knelt down with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord in worship. Levites among the Kohathites and Korahites rose to sing the praises of the Lord, the God of Israel, in a resounding chorus. The invaders destroyed. In the early morning, they hastened out to the wilderness of Tekoa. As they were going out, Jehoshaphat halted and said, Listen to me, Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Trust in the Lord your God, and you will be found firm. Trust in his prophets, and you will, be, and you will succeed. After consulting with the people, he appointed some to sing to the Lord and some to praise the holy appearance as it went forth at the head of the army. They sang, Give thanks to the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. At, that, at the moment they began their jubilant hymn, the Lord laid an ambush against the Ammonites, Moabites, and those of Mount Seir, who were coming against Judah, so that they were vanquished for the Ammonites, and Moabites set upon the inhabitants of Mount Seir and completely exterminated them. And when they had finished with the inhabitants of Seir, they, begun, they began to destroy each other. When Judah came to the watchtower of the desert and looked toward the throng, they saw only corpses fallen on the ground with no survivors. Jehoshaphat and his people came to take plunder, and they found an abundance of cattle and personal property, garments, and precious vessels. They took so much that they were unable to carry it all. They were three days taking the spoil, so great it was it. On the fourth day, they held an assembly in the valley of Barakah, for they, for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, that place has ever since been called the valley of Barakah. Then all the men of Judah and Jerusalem, with Jehoshaphat at their head, turned back toward Jerusalem, celebrating the joyful victory the Lord had given them over their enemies. They came to Jerusalem, to the house of the Lord, with harps, lyres, and trumpets. And the fear of God came upon all the kingdoms of the surrounding lands. When they heard how the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel thereafter, Jehoshaphat's kingdom enjoyed peace, for his God gave him rest on every side. Jehoshaphat's other deeds. Thus Jehoshaphat reigned over Judah. He was 35 years old when he became king, and he reigned 25 years in Jerusalem. His mother was named Azubah, daughter of Shil Shilhi. He followed the path of his father, Asa, unswervingly, doing what was right in the Lord's sight. But the high places were not removed, nor as yet had the people fixed their hearts on the God of their fathers. The rest of the Acts of Jehoshaphat, first and last, can be found written in the Chronicle of Jehu, son of Hanani, which is inserted in the book, in the book of the kings of Israel. After this, King Jehoshaphat of Judah allied himself, allied himself with King Ahaziah, of Israel who did evil. He joined with him in building ships to sail to Tarshish. The fleet was built at Ezion Gibber, but Eleazar, son of Dod Avuhu from Merasha, prophesied against Jehoshaphat, saying, Because you have joined with Ahaziah, the Lord will shatter your work. And the ships were wrecked and were unable to sail to Tarshish. Chapter 21, we will begin tomorrow. And with that, we'll close in the prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God, the Father. You are King above all. In your name we pray, Amen. Amen.